Hi guys, welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at SPA middleware. I've been an SPA developer for many years now and I've seen people use middleware wrong. If you want to develop SPAs faster, if you want to save yourself time, save yourself money, including keeping your manager happy if you work for someone, then please watch this video and guess what? You can hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, Join us on the avalex.co.uk mailing list because we've got tons more of this free content coming. We've got loads of stuff stored up for you with the Avalex Academy. So let's get on with the video. So the first thing is, what is middleware? Well, middleware sits between your front end and the back end. And in the middle, that's where the middleware is. Now, usually middleware is found on higher order components. What are higher order components? Higher order components are the components that are linked to your root. So as you have roots, like go to this root and serve out that component initially, that is a higher order, higher importance component. Therefore, that is a higher order component. And typically your middleware is found here, but your middleware could sit anywhere in your application, but typically that's where it's sat. And what the middleware will do is usually fetch some information or do a process in the middle of your SPA and usually a back end or some kind of service that you want to access to get that particular component to render correctly and have the data served to it. So now that we know what middleware is, what is the issues that we're facing? Well, the issues that we're facing is some people just aren't using middleware at all. Uh, they're trying to make plugins or JavaScript scripts that do this, but they're not actually using the frameworks like Vue or Angular and libraries like React. They're not actually containing that middleware bit and they're trying to write scripts to go around that. That is the wrong approach and you shouldn't be doing that. With that middleware, it's automatically triggered when you load onto that component. Whenever that component is mounted and rendered and it's server side as well, I would like to say, that middleware will fetch the information automatically. Do that specific thing that needs to make this component, this interface work correctly. One great example is when you go onto the news page of avalex.co.uk, there's middleware there. So that when you hit that higher order component, it says, right, I need to fetch some data from the WordPress API. So I fetch that information from the WordPress API before I render the page and it's done automatically. I'm using the framework and utilizing that. The great way of classifying middleware is does it sit between the middle of your front end and whatever back end technology you've got? It's in the middle. And so many people don't use middleware or they can use it incorrectly. Usually if you can use the hooks to do what you need to do, that's okay. But middleware serves as a great purpose. It's reusable code that sits in the middle. And also what it does is it triggers exactly what you want to. And it's also, as I said, server side capable as well out of the box. So that when you initially load the news page of Avalex, what you will find is it will trigger that middleware on the server to fetch the news information. That makes it a little bit faster and then puts it automatically into Vuex, for example or the flux state of the application. It doesn't really matter where the data goes as long as the data does get fed into the interface. So middleware is actually very important. And instead of using a component's lifecycle hooks, look at like, is that lifecycle hook attached to this component? Or should I decouple that logic? Because that logic really is backend logic trying to integrate into the front end logic. So your hooks for your component should really be just for that component on that instance. But if you need to fetch data, if you need to integrate something somehow, you need to be using middleware to do that because that's the correct way to do things and feed that information into your application. It sits in the middle. So when should we not use middleware? Well, you shouldn't use middleware if it's not in the middle of your front end and back end. It needs to sit in between something. If it's not really sat in between something, no. And if you've taken that logic and embedded it as a plugin, you're also using middleware wrong. In fact, you're not using it at all because you're 
replacing that with some kind of plugin or some script. That usually ends up complicating things and makes things, well, not necessarily as great as they should be. I should be able to, as a developer, look at the framework, look at the structure, look at the library structure, whatever it is, and I should be able to say exactly where I should see middleware. Middleware should sit between the front end and the back end, and that's where it should be. And I should be able to look for that and instantly see it. That is the most crucial part of this entire process. This entire process is all about making sure that we conform to the normalities of frameworks of libraries like React so that when other developers join, we know where to go. We know what to look for and that information will be made available to us. So that is how you use middleware correctly. And I thought about making this video because I know a lot of people don't use middleware correctly in SPAs. Middleware is incredibly important. And as I said, it should sit between a cliff. It should sit between something and something else. Middleware, it's in the middle. So your lifecycle hooks for your components should actually be just for that component, that instance. But if you need something a bit more higher up, which is usually why you find middleware on higher order components, but it's not the only component you can use it on. So for example, category page, news page, a, a post page, for example, normally it's based on pages, then you would put that middleware in there. That's a very important thing to do because if you don't do that, then people may not know where this code is loading in from, people may not know where to look, because you've embedded it somewhere else. Middleware should be a separate script that does a middleware job and then you should integrate it into your components. This is a much better way of using middleware and much better at structuring your SPA applications. All right guys, so if you want tons of free content, more premium content, then go ahead and sign up to the avalex.co.uk newsletter, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, Come and join us on the Avalex family and I've got loads more content to share with you.